This is the solution to written homework 29. Okay, so negative 5, 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So that's point A. Point B, 3, negative 5, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's point B. Compute the midpoint. Okay, so then we did A. B. The calculation is M is A plus B over 2. So that would be negative 5 plus 3 divided by 2, and then 1 plus negative 5 over 2. So that would be negative 2 over 2 is negative 1 and negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2. So that's the midpoint. Compute the equation. Oh, so we're going to have to draw through there. Okay. So that's, that's the midpoint right there. Compute the equation of the line which passes through M and is perpendicular to the line segment between A and B. Okay? So we can calculate the slope through A and B because that'll be the same as the slope through, for example, M and B. Uh, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4. So the change in X is 4. And then 1, 2, 3 change in y is negative 3. So as for d, uh, the slope that we're looking for is perpendicular to negative 3 over 4. So that means that the true slope is <coughs> M equal to four thirds, and so the equation y minus y one, so that'd be y minus negative two is four thirds times x minus negative one, so y plus two. is 4 thirds x plus 1. So y plus 2 is 4 thirds x plus 4 thirds. So y is 4 thirds x. Uh, and then we're going to subtract 2, which is 6 thirds. So 4 thirds minus 6 thirds is negative two-thirds. So that's the answer to part D. And now we want to plot that line. Okay. Which means we would have to go down four and then left three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. <clears throat> So the line requested is this one. And that's the answer. <clears throat>